Tangent constraints. We can apply a tangent constraint to two different entities. And we can apply these things to lines, circles, ellipses, and arcs. So here we have a circle and an, a line. And we're going to go up to the constraint panel. And in the constraint panel, we have the tangent tool. If we click on the tangent tool. Uh, first, we'll pick on the circle. Then, second, we'll pick on the line. And then we'll move the line down to, I mean, the circle down to the line. And notice we have a tangent symbol there. So, over here, we'll do the same thing with an ellipse and an arc. We'll pick on the ellipse first, and then we'll pick on the arc second, and it'll move the uh, arc over to the ellipse. So, they'll keep those things at a tangent point between the two. So we have our tangent point right here and we have our tangent point right here. So a tangent constraint is located under the tangent uh, tab of the sketch tab and it's located right here. Uh, our tangent uh, constraints curves, uh, lines, arcs to a point that's tangent to the other object. So they share one physical point.